Riddles and now the worldwide sensation Wordle. What makes puzzles so satisfying? AJ Jacobs wanted to find out, and he's done done this with his other best-selling books. He's conducted something of a lifestyle experiment by immersing himself in the subject. The result is the puzzler, one man's quest to solve the most baffling puzzles ever, from crosswords to jigsaws to the meaning of life. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. But let me ask you, that image is a great image on, on the book, but the first thing that came to my mind was Rubik's Cube because it was insanely popular and yet very, very few people could do it, which I didn't see the fun in it, yet it was everybody <laughs> wanted it. So I, how do you explain that? Well, I think we are wired to solve puzzles as humans. We get that dopamine rush uh, when we do. Uh, and so those puzzles are good training for the big puzzles in the world, whether it's uh, figuring out how to arrange your dinner table or how to create the mRNA vaccine. It's interesting to me because it, when you talk about this, there's a subculture of different puzzles and different mysteries that attract a certain group of people. And one of them was Kryptos at CIA headquarters. Can you talk a little bit about that? It's just fascinating to me. Oh yeah, this was one of my favorites, Lauren. It was, uh, there's a still unsolved puzzle at the headquarters of the CIA. Not even the CIA has been able to crack it. And it's a, a sculpture that's about 30 years old and it's a secret code. It's uh, on the metal wall are carved a bunch of letters and no one has been able to fully crack it. Uh, but there are thousands of people every day proposing theories and uh, I just love the grit because sometimes I'll give up on a math problem after mm -hmm. a minute and a half. These people have been doing it for over 30 years. Yeah, and I remember you know, in school, we had a lot of multiple choice and memorization. Is there a different, do puzzles give us a different way of learning and does it affect us intellectually differently than, than how we've been traditionally taught to learn? Yeah, I believe, and a lot of others believe, we should do more puzzles in schools because it's got that element of surprise and it allows you to think outside the box, which is a cliche that came from puzzles. Mm. That was originally a puzzle. You had to draw outside the box to connect the dots. Oh. It, thinking about speed cubers, I never really knew what was behind how they did this so fast. I just always thought it was just an intrinsic t talent, but you talk about the algorithms and how they know all these different algorithms in terms of limiting the number of turns that they need to get to get the actual, to solve the puzzle. Oh yeah, I mean the Rubik's Cube now has evolved into this crazy, people can do it in 3.4 seconds, Amazing. that's the record. Uh, it's like a sport, there are all of these, um, they do a blindfold, there are these lubes, lubrication, you have to put on magnets. It's just amazing what people have done with Rubik's Cube. So I think it's worth another shot, Larry, give it another shot. <laughs> give it a go. <laughs> well, it makes me wonder if people have certain minds for, for this and too. others do not. Did you find that to be the case? I think that it's like dating. There's a puzzle type for everybody. So you may not love the Rubik's Cube, but you know, you're a writer, so maybe you like uh, word puzzles. Uh, there's visual puzzles, the Where's Waldo, which doesn't get right. enough mm -hmm. credit. Yeah. So there's a puzzle type for everyone. Huh. I just brought out Where's Waldo for my six-year-old son, and he spends all this time trying to find him. Like, he's right there. Yeah. Right there. Uh, so I just also wanted to touch on this, too, because I thought this was interesting, that you spent a year following every single rule in the Bible. What led you to do that, and what was it like doing that throughout that year? Yes, I did that partly because I grew up with no religion at all. Uh, as I say in the book, I'm Jewish, but I'm Jewish in the same way the Olive Garden is Italian. <laughs> so I wanted, yeah. I wanted to dive in and actually learn what religion is about by living uh, it, through the Bible, walking in the footsteps of our foreparents. And it was crazy because I did the uh, Ten Commandments, of course, and Love Your Neighbor, but I also did the, the ones that don't get. I grew a beard that was enormous and scary. Uh, I stoned adulterers, but I used pebbles, so uh. I didn't go to jail. Uh, but it was a fascinating, and I, I had so many uh, takeaways that have made my life better. But also, I learned don't follow the Bible literally, because you don't want to be stoning people. Uh, good, <laughs> good advice. Yeah. Oh, the book <laughs> is you. The Puzzler. You can find A.J. Jacobs on his website and social media. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. It is not